we'll sir, track which will be followed by a change in the party and also as far as some new governors will lots be of new governors expected Rahul Srivastava thank you very much we'll stay away from uh, engaging in any speculation on who the mantris could be I have lots of information but that's just in at this stage gossip so till the time it's fleshed out fully cross confirmed from multiple sources i'll keep it in my pocket and i like the fact that rahul also uh, not wanting to stick his neck out let's just stick to what we know and there we have enough reason to believe that this reshuffle could happen the first or the second of september let's shift our attention to the big demonetization report the RBI finally sending out its calculation on how many currency notes actually came back and as had been suspected for a very long time 99% of the currency notes which is virtually the entire amount in circulation came back leading to big questions about whether demonetization was actually a success so here is some data uh, 15.44 lakh crore rupees is the amount of currency that got demonetized out of this uh, 15.28 lakh crore rupees is what came back, which is virtually the entire amount. Only 1% did not come back. That is about 99% uh, of the old notes got deposited back with the treasury and with all the banks. Now remember, the cost of printing new currency was 7,965 crore rupees. So if you actually look at uh, whether this led to any gains, just 1% is what we got, which is actually much lesser than the cost. Because remember, this is now data from the Center for Monitoring of the Indian Economy, which says that the cost to companies was 61,500 crore rupees as a consequence of demonetization. Apart from this, the cost of people queuing up, CMIE estimates was 15,000 crore rupees. After this, uh, there are other costs involved as well. The cost to banks was 34,140 crore rupees. So if you add up all the costs, including the total uh, amount of money spent on printing the new currency, it comes up to about 1,11,640 crore rupees. In comparison, what you gained was much lesser, only 16,000 crore rupees with almost the entire amount coming back. This led to a sharp attack from economists and from the opposition questioning the government on whether demonetization was more pain or gain. एक हजार रुपये की पुरानी नोटों के जरिए लेन-देन की व्यवस्था आज मध्यरात्रि से उपलब्ध नहीं होगी. Nine months ago, this surprise announcement by Prime Minister Modi sent the nation into a historic dizzy. India did not know what had hit her. For weeks, people queued up outside banks to deposit old 500 and 1,000 rupee notes. ATMs ran dry. Businesses were hit, but India was told that this little pain would result in a big gain. The Reserve Bank of India's data on demonetization, however, proves the opposite. In its annual report for 2016-17, the RBI says that 15.28 lakh crore out of the 15.44 lakh crore in old currency has come back into the Indian banking system. The report also states that all but 1.4% of old 1000 rupee notes have come back post demonetization and that the cost of printing currency almost doubled to 7,965 crores in 2016-2017. Some people who have uh, an inadequate understanding of how to tackle the problem of black money were confusing the demonetization exercise merely with how much money comes back into the system and how much does not come back. That was never the real object of demonetization. The object of demonetization was not confiscation of money. The object of demonetization was that India is predominantly a high cash economy 
and therefore that scenario requires to be significantly altered. We intended to give a blow to black money and for doing that expand the tax base of the country. The new demo data has the opposition gunning for the government. Former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram sent out a series of tweets alleging that demonetization was a scheme designed to convert black money into white. Look, the people of Modi Ji and their party are telling the people in the country and in the country and in the country that the whole of the money is telling the people of the country. The 8,000 crores of the child who didn't return to the Reserve Bank is that the fair and lovely scheme of Modi Ji has been avoided. We will move to the Finance Committee in front of the Reserve Bank Governor. The Reserve Bank Governor has been asked for the Reserve Bank Finance Committee. We should have to do that with the summit. With data suggesting that demonetization wasn't as big a success that the government claimed it to be, the big question is, was it worth putting India and its citizens through unforgettable weeks of fiscal pain? Bureau Report, India Today. Okay, joining me now on whether demonetization was actually worth the pain, the government insists very strongly it was, Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, Senior Congress Leader, Rajya Sabha MP, Sambit Patra, National Spokesperson of the BJP, Prasanjit Bose is a left-leaning economist. I want to go across to Dr. Patra first because Dr. Singhvi can say today, Humne to kaha tha. We told you this would happen. We told you that this is bad economics. We told you that this wouldn't come out. With 99% of the currency back, a lot of people will wonder whether demonetization was worth the pain, Dr. Patra. No, first and foremost, with, with uh, due respect to Dr. Singhvi, though Dr. Singhvi has still not spoken, but you presume what he would say, and I would also give an answer if he says what you said. I would say Dr. Singhvi did not speak about black money because Dr. Singhvi and his party felt that black money did not exist and they never vowed to fight against black money. Rather, they wanted to move the special leave petition against the Supreme Court's will to create an SIT. Now, coming to the moot point. The moot point over here is a flawed contention, the flawed argument that uh, in demonetization, lesser amount that returns to the bank would have been the success of uh, demonetization. That all the money that returns to the bank automatically becomes white. Not at all. It's a flawed contention that that money which finds its way to the bank becomes white. Rather, what was the prime purpose of demonetization? The prime purpose of demonetization was to attach our address tag to every currency. And successfully that has been achieved. A huge amount of currency which was previously called as black money today finds its address today the owners are known secondly there are certain figures which the country should know and the government has released those figures the journalists of this country and you also must be having those figures but people need to know that I mean 31st of January 2017 when operation black money uh, operation clean money was launched then approximately 18 lakh lakh accounts were scrutinized and through these 18 lakh accounts approximately 10 lakh people they replied back and 14 lakh accounts worth carrying 3 lakh crore rupees came to the fore and today of these 17,526 crore is being found to be undisclosed and you would be happy to know that the process is on I understand the broad thrust of your argument we also heard what Arun Jaitley said so let me now listen to Abhishek Singhvi Dr. Singhvi the BJP will say well okay the money is back but now we know who this money belongs to we can track what they do with it they're also saying that the number of tax assessees is going up that india has now become a more white economy as opposed to being a more black economy dr singhvi uh, permit me my two two and a half minutes because if this was not tragic for the country it would be comic it is one of the greatest frauds on this nation, unsuspecting nation. First, 1% has remained out. Second, so you now change the goalpost to say that less money coming in is not an index. More money coming in is not an index. Number three, you forget that the cost of printing notes is 11,000 crores and the loss of interest to RBI is 17,000 crores. That's direct loss to RBI of 30,000 crores. 
the additional loss your program has just shown through banks through companies and elsewhere is 116000 crores the cmi and several economists except a very few number and the government lives in ostrich land ostrich head in the sand land by denying that minimum minimum 1% gdp growth is reduced according to many it is one and a half percent the cmie an independent monitoring organization which crunches statistics has published that in 3 months of this year alone the first 3 and a half months there has loss of 1.5 million jobs a direct outcome of demonetization the terrorism being linked to demonetization anti terror moves no statistical study zilch effect counterfeit notes marginal increase published figures of rbi show a marginal increase over the previous same period that leaves the cash economy and the finance minister with his usual ingenuity has tried very cleverly to change the goal post completely let me tell you that if you press the button on a cash economy converting to a card economy it will take at least 5 years to have a modicum of success can you i press one button something on november Singh, which might interest you and you expect that, that this 15.28 lakh crore rupee Now, number and yes. this i think has got lost out because we did a very deep dive into this does not include money no. with cooperatives no. and money coming from nepal because that hasn't been counted yet there is a possibility in rbi circles dr patra that when you count the money from the rbi and from cooperatives this amount could exceed 15.44 lakh crore rupees so you, one oh, dr singh we want to make a quick point before you respond so we could have possibly no, had just more money more. back with us than we had second. originally no, rahul one second yes it's it's worse than that you could have had no no you would have had on what example you are given and without that example the remarkable ridiculous result of having actually more money black converted into white than any other thing now let me tell you one very big fallacy in the argument you just heard from the bjp the argument is that yes now we are caught the rbi tried to delay this counting for almost a year it's a another miracle of the world that the rbi takes almost 9 months to give you the figure now you know why it was hiding the figure but now one cat is out of the bag again they say that uh, although 1% alone has remained out we are now counting 3 lakh crores and going Kambit to find Patra, black you money must in respond that. to this because once Everybody the money from nepal and from to, i respond to every bit of it we could in have more people, money coming back than we thought was originally in circulation matlab black marketers hai all the black money lot you know in hindi they say topi pehna di sarkar ko it will be like a big thing if all the black money then becomes white sambit no not at all not at all for, for, I mean, this is again a, this is again a flawed con- let let me let me let me this is again a flawed contention that all the money that returns to the banking system suo moto or de facto becomes white absolutely not there are mechanisms which would segregate the white and the black money as i said previously i would not repeat that point but to say that the government did not expect these specified bank notes to enter into the circulatory system and so it's a failure is absolutely wrong the government expected all the amount that was in circulation to come back to the bank to become effectively usable currency and today thankfully in a very short span of time the rbi and the other banks could handle this pressure and effective usable currency that is in the formalized system has only increased secondly look at the white tax base today i mean 25 percentage increase in the tax base compared to what it was last year it's not a so let uh, prasenjit bose respond the on the aspect of the increase in the tax base and a lot of the money which was earlier black we couldn't do anything about now the government says we know exactly whose money it is and where it's lying prasenjit bos no rahul i am appalled by what mr sambit patra is doing because you know i think that there should be at least a modicum of shame because he is completely lying and uh, uh, i would suggest to him that he should read the articles which uh, economists who are uh, you know in a way a part of this government or sympathetic to this government like jagdish bhagwati or the chief economist of the state bank of india they have written articles which has actually speculated on 2 and a half to 3 lakh crore of cash which they had expected of not coming back to the banking system and now it is it is starting as you are correctly pointing out actually it may be the case that more money more than 15.45 lakh crore has actually come back 
so you know it is a total embarrassment for this government it has this government is actually shameless that is why it is saying such things they are completely changing not only changing the goal i would say shameless. that they are completely okay, distorting Patra, the truth very quick Final second words. Point. No, no, no. But, no, one second, no, Prasenjit. No, I must apologize to all my guests. Please, Part one of the newsroom on that train accident that went on for much longer than I'd originally anticipated. Plus, we had the breaking news. So I'm out of time. Just 10 seconds, please. I really apologize for this. Samit Patra, quickly. No, no. All, all I can say at the end is, please don't call those who have the gumption of fighting against black money shameless. Rather, I should call back all those who did not show the courage for obvious reasons to fight I against black calling, money. As I am people saying you are should be shamed truth. today. Saying the final ten no, seconds. No, 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 no one is distorting anything. Wow. I have all the facts over here. I'll present five all seconds. the facts. Five seconds. Yes, Doctor Singh. Five. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Uh, it teaches us a lesson, Rahul, which of course the BJP will never learn, but the nation will imbibe. A economic blunder, because facts and figures don't lie, will remain an economic blunder, and a political validation in UP, which is what was touted, will not correct an economic blunder. A political okay. validation in four states okay. will not I'm ever end this, year. this debate validate one of the most will blunders. go on a lot. Because the RBI data and given what the government said about demonetization will really be scrutinized very deeply here and elsewhere. And I promise to do that tomorrow too. But right now I'm out of time. So Dr. Singhvi, Sambit Patra, Prasenjit Bose, I apologize and I say thank you. I slip into a break. We'll have more for you when we come back on the other side. Stay with us.